Hey everyone, welcome to Cross Training today. I'm so glad you're here. Let's dive into God's Word together and just learn more about Him together. And so the these first two verses in Ephesians 5 are so important. And yeah, so I'm just going to go word for word in this because each word that Paul is using is so significant to these uh, to the whole book, really, to his whole point that he's trying to get across to the church of Ephesus. So as we start, the first word, therefore, that's so important because he's, he's bridging um, his two points together of having a new life in Christ to how to walk in in that life. Um, so now that we know that, it's easier to be able to understand what's coming next. And it says, be imitators of God. So be, our whole being should reflect imitating God. So I'm just going to bring up an example. So for me, I really am into pop culture and um, I have a few favorite TV shows, but sometimes I love that I get so into them. I watch however many episodes on Netflix or Hulu and I start acting or not acting, but making jokes like some of the characters do. Um, for example, uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine is one of um, my top favorite shows. And the main character, Jake, in many of the episodes goes, cool, 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 like really fast. And I've adopted that uh, in a lot of stuff that I do in my normal day-to-day -day life. So what Paul is getting at is that the love that Christ, that God has shown us through Christ, we need to imitate that. Uh, we need to see it. We need to have it be our example. We need to put it on our bathroom mirrors and look at it every single day. Um, and yeah, just really be ingrained in that truth and so that we live it out. So that's not a perfect example, but kind of what I'm getting at. Um, we need to be imitators of God as beloved children. We are his children. It says it all throughout scripture that he loves us so much that we are adopted into his family. And actually, we are going through a Sunday school class right now. If you're interested for all adults uh, in our congregation right after our Sunday morning service, and it's on the book of Ephesians. And in the in the first part of Ephesians, in chapter 1, it talks about being adopted as his children. So Paul's just bringing it right back in, in here. And then in verse 2, and walk in love. Every step that we take should be a, a step of love, a step in the right direction of showing God's love and being his love. As Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. So I just want to hold on that fragrant offering phrase. So as, as we finish here, I just want you to picture um, if, if you could put a, a color on fragrance, whether, you know, it's a good fragrance, whether it's a really expensive perfume or whether it's a bad, bad fragrance, like a skunk, um, if you were, if you were to visibly see the fragrance just spreading out and filling a room or filling an area, um, that's kind of that's kind of what what Paul's um, giving giving the picture of here. If you could, because we can we can smell 
we can smell the fragrance and it, it just keeps going. And if we keep walking, we'll keep smelling it. And this is kind of how he wants us to walk in love. That at every, every step that we take, we need to carry that fragrance. We need to carry that love with us and show the world. So I hope you all have a fantastic day.